Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 21. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. All right, so we are here at the British Independence and we are here looking for a very specific car. This thing, the Jaguar XJ220. This is obviously an A-class car. Um, and this is uh, quite a nice looking car. Uh, personally, I quite like it. Um, it is, if I zoom out, it's quite a uh, very streamlined car. Very nice. Uh, this one doesn't actually have the uh, pop-up pop, uh, uh, pop headlights. It's got um, just the uh, plastic over it. Um, which, I prefer the pop-up headlights, personally. Um, but that's personal preference. This is uh, Westminster Blue. You've got metallic, sapphire. A lot of greys, a lot of silvers. But I feel like a light blue would be nice for this car. Because everyone always takes like a metallic Jaguar. It's like every single game. But I feel like a blue would be nice. Uh, the interior is pretty basic. Um, we can't make it blue. Let's make it blue. Blue everything. We'll buy the car. And we'll take this for is being the next event, which is going to be a really long one. And there is the Supercar Owners Club unlocked. I don't know what engine this is, if it's V12 or not. Um, but probably we'll find out at some point. Oh, I like the sound. I like the sound big time. Right, so we have made our way over to the British Specialist. We're going to be upgrading our Jaguar. And we can go up to a 233 mile an hour car, 3.2 seconds. And bring it just under £3,000. I don't know how much that is in kilos. That's This game's obviously made in America. Uh, and 650 brake horsepower, so pretty cool. Uh, it's still a class, there's no like class above that. And it's also free, so result. Got a very nice deal on that. Free yeah, engine upgrades are always accepted. Today. And they are always welcomed. Oh, come on! That was your own fault. This is a nice car though, I like. I like a lot. Oh, this sounds amazing. I'm looking forward to driving this in our next race. Really am. Really am looking forward to it. Right, we are on our way to um, our next championship. We have cops everywhere, there is four of them. Uh, that was a roadblock there, apparently. A one-car roadblock, that makes no sense. And we are zooming away from the cars, from the cops. Be gone, cops, you can never catch me. Requesting a roadblock. Aye! It's not fair. Roblox ain't allowed. Oh, apparently there's a dead end this way. That's alright, because our mission is just here. Madness, this is called. Something madness. I don't know how to say it. Makalia Madness. As this is a 4.1 mile race. Expert difficulty, no restrictions. We're driving the Jaguar XJ220 for this one. I do love the XJ220. I love it. I've been driving it loads in Gran Turismo 4 as well. Obviously, off-camera playthrough, not a recorded playthrough yet. Go, 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 go. Awesome. We're all in Jaguars as well. Which gives me a little bit of a boost, actually, because obviously me having the extra performance um, but also, we are saving up now for a Pagani, for A-Class. 
Uh, I know this car is A-Class, but I want to mix them up while we do it, because there are loads of A-Class races, and they are long. I don't really want to be doing like 20 episodes in a row, just driving a Jaguar. I want to mix it up a bit, and if while we're doing the A-Class we can get more and more cars, we'll do it. But uh, obviously we've unlocked a few extra clubs with this car. I think it was the Supercar Club, uh, so we unlocked that with this. Which is surprising, because I would have thought... I mean, the Aston Martin's more of a sports car, isn't it? But how is the Shelby not classed as a supercar? Confusing. But I'm not complaining. I know the supercar club can be very difficult, though. I do remember that much. Alright, that's the first checkpoint done. Although this is an A-Class vehicle, it's pretty slow. I remember this being a faster car, but uh, apparently not. Maybe that's why it was a cheap A-Class car. It does have a very good gear ratio though. Very suited for like, going round corners. There's not a lot of shifting involved. Awesome. I mean, shifting's not a problem in this game as much, but um, definitely in Gran Turismo, this uh, gear ratio would be perfect. But then again, I don't think we'd be able to take the corners this fast in Gran Turismo either. <laughs> but here we go. Finish line. That was a very good race. 2 minutes 30.056 Oh, is that it? There's no other events? That was a green one though. Your itinerary That's normally a championship. Oh, but there's another event right after it. Okay, uh, this thing doesn't like going up hills if it's not already got momentum. You have reached your destination. There we go. This one's called Down the Mountain. It's a time trial. Is it restricted as well? Or is this no restrictions too? This actually has a restriction. Okay. B class. We'll go for the Gallardo today for this one now. We'll take that. 2 minutes 36 we're aiming for. Let's start. This is good. And off we go. This thing is so much quicker than Jaguar. What the hell? This is not supposed to happen. Jaguar might have been a bad choice. <laughs> At least we have an A-class car. I think actually we might have a couple now. Quite a few. Slow down, slow down. Nice. Awesome. This is pretty cool though that this is like Pikes Peak Hill Climb. But going downhill. We're going down a mountain. And the elevation change of this mountain is insane. Hopefully we get to go back up afterwards. I mean, technically we've already done that. But as a race... Awesome. The fact that money is so easy to earn in this game as well sort of improves the game a little bit. 
because of the fact that there are expensive things you still have to buy as well. Awesome. Where is the finish line? We're not too far away. Here we go. I see the blue in the distance. Ta-da, finish. 221.090. It was a very nice gold medal there. Getting loads of master points. We're going to be at um, a million before the end of the day. Easy. How far is it to the next event? Oh, try not to crash, please. 3.3 miles. Okay. Let's uh, head there then. All right. Well... Oh, that. Thanks, Laurie. Uh, <laughs> so we are 1.5 miles away, as the sat-nav just said. Um, and we're going to be doing some speed traps next, I think. Turn left. Turn left. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the uh, marker that was set. Your destination is one mile away. And I've also worked out why. Um, so that those green markers are part of a championship, but for some reason, all the races are unlocked in one go. And it's part of a championship called King of the Hill. Um, there's about six or seven events in it. But there's no fast travel in between events. Um, but they are all unlocked from the start. Which is weird. And it's also part of that really long uh, 34 mile race. Which isn't the full map race either. It's just part of the long race. Uh, but we will do that at some point. But first of all, B-class vehicle restriction. 115 miles an hour. Let's do this. These cars are quick. So there should be no problem for the Lambo to get 115. Awesome. Right, off we go. We have three cameras. Just follow a straight line. Uh, there is no roads on my minimap at the moment. It is just mud. So uh, working out what roads we have to go down is going to be a bit of a challenge for me now. Uh, I'm guessing we're going this way. Ah, I can see the roads now from here. Try not to get any off-road penalties, whatever. Still over. So we can go under by about 10 miles an hour probably and still get it. So, But we are way over that speed now, so... Easy dubs. How much faster? 14 miles an hour. Crazy. Look at that. We got 5,000 master points as well. Your itinerary is being right, where is the next race? Seven miles away. Okay. See you guys when we get there. Right, so we are 2.7 miles away from our destination now. And we are going to be doing the next race of the King of the Hill. Oh. Why is it whenever I start talking, I always crash? It's like a mandatory thing that I have to crash. It's pretty funny. It's actually getting really funny now. <laughs> um, I wonder if I can cut these corners. Your is oh, come on. You've got to be joking. Why did you not move? Okay, so I can't cut these corners. I can here. But that's, like, pretty pointless. Cutting the corner there. I can do this. Ta-da. Oh, no. There's a barrier there. Oh, wow. Who put that barrier there? Unbelievable. I thought I was being cheeky and getting away with it, but uh, apparently not. See that pig climb where I just like... Nope. This is a really nice road as well. So I'm glad I started recording for this bit. Because this is one of my favourite roads. I remember driving this uh, actually in TDU2. Uh, it was one of the licenses roads. Um, one of the A5 license, I think, or the A4. Could have been either. Um, or isn't the A4, A5 and A4 mixed, aren't they? But anyways, it was one of those roads, and it was a fun road to drive on. Really was. 
And it's cool to be able to drive it in TDU 1 on the PS2. That's pretty cool. But uh, here we go. Here's the next race of the King of the Hill. You have reached your destination. Switchback Valley. Let's go. Okay. So this is a 2.2 mile race. No restrictions whatsoever. So uh, let's... Let's swap the vehicle out for something a bit different. Should we try the Cobra Concept? I feel like that'd be a nice car to drive, actually. Here we go. Let's drive the Cobra Concept. Give this thing a try. Hopefully, we're also against Cobra Concept. Uh, no, we're against a mix of cars. We're against one Cobra Concept and a couple of other cars, too. What's this interior like? Oh, very fancy. Very blue. This car has no upgrades as well. Oh, and we spun out. That's great. This is a very short race, so uh, the fact that we spun out now might mean we won't get a decent result. We may have to retry with a better vehicle. We'll see how this goes, first of all. But uh, the green ones we have to get first. Oh, and it's down my favorite road as well. Game won't let you cut corners, though. There's uh, road barriers everywhere. Oh no, I keep spinning out. Let's uh, restart and swap for a different car. That one's a little bit difficult to drive. I feel like that would need a performance upgrade to improve the handling. Um, so we're going to jump into Shelby Concept. This one never hasn't failed me yet. The Shelby Concept. Every single time I've driven it, I've won. Except for once where I crashed off and I got an off road penalty. Those are Koenig's eggs. How is that fair? <laughs> okay then. That's another car I really want to try out actually. The Koenig's egg. Not sure if I drove that at all or not. Awesome. Going catching up with the first, the light blue Koenigsegg. And we got a green one. Any car that's green sort of always resembles a frog when you think about it. It just looks very frog like. Maybe all cars are designed to look like frogs deliberately. Unbelievable. The Shelby uh, let me down. See if we can get back up with the canoe eggs. Too much of a heavy hit there. And this is not great because uh, that is the finish line there. We were doing so well and then we just crashed and spun out. Unbelievable. I'm going to have to redo it again. Urgh. Right, so after swapping cars, we had a much better run. There we go. We got the win. That was crazy, though. Um, We also got ended up with a red Koenigsegg as our enemy this time. So, uh, uh not great. Uh, the um, Shelby just couldn't keep up with the cars at all. So, uh, swapping for the Lamborghini was a better choice. Um, but we have two miles to the next event. Let's uh, go straight there. Your next destination is two miles away. No problem. I'm going to see how this does. And then I think after this one, we may do the super long race. Not the Goliath. Not the mega mega race. Uh, but there is a 30 mile race. So we'll end up doing that at some point. 
Oh, weaving between those cars. Your destination is a half a mile away. Where is the event? Oh, this is a time trial. Fancy. Exit this intersection. Turn right. Turn right. Here we go. Perfect. You have reached your destination. Right, time trial. Winding wahai wa. I think that's how you say that. Uh, this is a B class. One minute forty seconds. Let's go. All right, here we go. And we're off. Nice. Okay, right, slow down, slow down, slow down. Come on. Nice. Oh, not ideal. Let's go speed. Come on. We may have busted that now. But normally, whenever we've driven a B-Class car on these events, we've had margin for error. So, hopefully, they gave us a bit of margin for error for this one. One point one miles to the end. 120 miles an hour average speed. Sounds good. Uh, it's going to be a push. There's the finish. Come on. Hey, easy. There we go. 1 minute 37. First place. And our Lamborghini stuck up a lamppost. Brilliant. <laughs> there we go, 52,000 credits. We are nearly at 900,000 master points. And Your after the next race, I think it's going to be quite spectacular. Let's see how far away this race is. 2.9 miles. Okay, right, so next up is this time trial called Zigzag. This is a D restriction event, so we're going to end up taking the skyline again. Uh, so, Nissan, time to shine. 1 minute 20 we're aiming for. Um, but hopefully, we can get like 1 minute 15 under that. Been a while since we've driven the skyline. Off we go. Actually, I think we drove it yesterday, didn't we? In yesterday's recording session, which would have been like 2 or 3 episodes ago. Oh well. Good first checkpoint there. Is this down the same section of road? No way. Can we not get away from this road? Is this like a mandatory road that has to be in like every single event now? Up in the north? This is crazy. <laughs> nice. Very good. 0.4 miles and 22 seconds to get there. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Ah, maybe. 10 seconds. There we go. 1 minute 16. That's a very good time there. 19,000 credits and nearly 900,000. And I think the next event is going to be the big one. 
11.9 miles. Yep, it's the big one. Okay, let's go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.